So what is uncertainty? I'm sure you've used the word uncertain before when you talk to friends or when you're talking. Um, so what is uncertainty? I'm sure you've used the word uncertain before in many conversations. When you use the word uncertain, you most likely are saying when you're not quite sure or when you're not confident about a specific thing. So this uncertainty can be completely applied, not just in mathematics, but also in science. In science, uncertainty is used in measurements. This means we could be uncertain about a specific piece of equipment that we use in, say, a chemistry laboratory. In a chemistry lab, we could measure 25 milliliters of distilled water using a beaker, so like this one here, a 100 milliliters beaker on my end, a graduated cylinder on my end, this is a 50 milliliter graduated cylinder. We could also use a volumetric pipette to measure 25 milliliters of distilled water. If you take a look here, um, mine also says 25 milliliters. If you haven't seen this glassware before, this is known as a pipette. A pipette, um, depending on which volume you use, they have different volumes. For this one, this one is specific to just measuring 25 milliliters. Don't know if you can see from up top, but there is a line right here. This line is at the tip, at the very top of my glassware. So essentially, if I fill this glassware up with 25 milliliters of distilled water up to this point would be 25 milliliters. So this one is a very accurate piece of glassware to measure volume. You could have 25 milliliters for our beaker, which in this case, um, we would write 25 as this. For graduated cylinder, it's almost as if it's a little bit more accurate. If you take a look, there are a lot more indices. So it makes this piece of glassware more accurate when you measure it. And this one could be even more accurate because this glassware is specifically made to only measure 25 milliliters, nothing more and nothing less. So when we're talking about um, uncertainties and measurements, we could see that in chemistry labs, using three pieces of glassware, we could measure um, distilled water in three different ways, in three very different accuracy and precise ways. In this case, the most accurate and the most precise instrument to use to measure 25 milliliters of distilled water would be the volumetric pipette. Uncertainty is represented by a plus or minus sign. This shows that we're not sure whether what we just measured, say using a beaker, is more plus or less minus than what we thought we measured. So if I measure 25 milliliters, the plus or minus means that I'm unsure. Maybe I measured a little bit more than 25 milliliters, or maybe I measured a little bit less. Maybe I'm not looking at this properly when I measured it. So I have to include a, an uncertainty. Uncertainty could tell us about error that was caused by human error, or most importantly, um, how accurate, how precise this specific glassware is. We take a look at the three different instruments that we just talked about. The uncertainty for the beaker would be plus or minus one milliliter because we are only certain up until the ones place, right? Our 25 does not have any more decimals after that. So we're only confident until the ones. This means we might be measuring it off by one more or one less milliliter. Just now, the graduated cylinder we saw was 25.0. So it means that it's accurate to the tenths place. So this means that our uncertainty would not be as great as the beaker. And so our uncertainty might only be 0.1 milliliters. Notice how the decimal places 
for the uncertainty and the value um, that you measure your liquid in is the same decimal place. Lastly, our volumetric pipette is accurate to 25.00 milliliters. So this means that our uncertainty would have to be at the hundredths place because this glassware is telling us that it's very accurate and very precise. So if we take a look and we compare these three different glassware, we could see that this one is definitely more accurate. A volumetric pipette, if you look at the uncertainty of plus or minus 0 0.01 compared to a beaker of plus or minus 1 with the units all being milliliters, we can see that a volumetric pipette is 100 times more accurate than a beaker. So based on the uncertainty, we could figure out how confident we are in the amount of liquid that we measure with different glassware. We could use uncertainties in a lot of different chemistry um, equipment. We could use it to compare different mass electronic balances, triple beam balances. Um, essentially, any form of equipment that we use in a laboratory needs to have an uncertainty value associated with it to show how confident you are with the measurement that you took.